The Turtle Pack is Super Auto Pet's first ever pack. It's seen a few lineup changes over the years, but it has remained true to its role as the accessible, easy to get started pack. The two lessons it teaches a new player early on is how to use your gold efficiently for optimal scaling and how to properly position your pets. The table, I think I have very good gold usage and positioning, but I'm still not getting 10 wins. From my experience, this is largely due to how long this game has been out. People have had years to perfect this pack, eking out the smallest improvements to get the slightest little difference in their games. Therefore, in this video, we're going to be playing through a few different build archetypes while highlighting different ways that you can further squeeze out those little optimizations. Sometimes that's just a matter of getting your Scorpion to 21 attack to ensure it KOs through a melon, or avoiding the sunk cost fallacy, prompting you to keep a somewhat scaled elephant camel in the late game where they just get one shot. I hope these games help all of my fellow free to players out there for when the weekly just ain't cutting it for you. Alrighty, let's grab a duck, a cricket, and a pigeon, I guess. That's the way we're running it. Some powerful babies. I feel like that's fitting. We'll be some powerful babies. And we're drawing. Okay. Ooh, I actually like this. And then we'll throw a cricket in the mix. Maybe. Beautiful. I don't think we need pigeon. So the key here, in general, when you're running turtle pack, you gotta go for the the consistent scaling and then get some melons and whatnot, right? Combine you first. Um, honestly, I kind of like a swan here. Start me here. Camel's pretty good. And then what if we get rid of you for an ant? Throw that on you. And now we just got some pretty consistent, pretty wide stat board here. Is it enough? I think it will be, yeah. We're good. <laughs> now we're finally on the board. Not as quick as you typically would like, but we're here. Now I can swap out our flamingo, throw an apple on you. Just get going, you know. That'll do. The math is mathin' for us. Okay, start me with a level. Hippo's definitely where it's at. Let's get rid of you. And then we can full send some Hippo. I mean, Heike Rabbit's also pretty good. With a salad? Ooh, I love it. Ow. And we're good, the hippo clutches it for us. This is the key, you know, you gotta you gotta get the hippo cooking. Not necessarily a hippo, but you gotta get cooking in general. And a hippo's a good way to do that. Roll me once, see what we get. I definitely would like a pill on this flamingo here. We can wait though. We don't need it right now. And now we're just, it's over. This is a pure anti-summon. Just straight out of the books. Love it. So now this is where you can oftentimes kind of fall flat, okay? What you have to do is you have to really take a look at your team and see what's the best way you can pivot here, okay? So I'm actually... Hold giraffe here. We'll hold on to the salad bowl. Hopefully we can find a rabbit soon. That would make our salad bowl a little bit more useful. And that is just couldn't have written it up better myself. Okay. Now you probably need to go. We'll throw in a salad bowl. Fantastic hits, by the way. And let's get a deer in here. Just to kind of start 
Start wheedling down the enemy, if you will. Now we already have our main unit that we're running, being the hippo, of course. So I'm thinking, since we already have the rabbit as well, let's throw a cow in the mix. And now we got some levels too, so that's fantastic. So we'll sell our deer next turn. Fantastic. Deer just saved us from that scorpion. Alright, tier 5. Get rid of our deer. I think we do this. Honestly, we don't have enough money to buy this the salad bowl. I'd rather get this other stuff going. So we'll start here. And we'll go... I think we go... We'll just kind of split it, right? Right down the middle. Now we can only level up one guy here. I'm tempted to do the hippo. Because that's going to give him better scaling. But I think the swan is the safer bet long term. And of course we got to run a cat here. How could you not? Now the reason I say safer bet here is because... Ooh, see, we're good. Having more money is generally going to be, you know, it's going to scale you better later. So I think it's best to just do that. Just focus on the cash, you know. We'll go here. Hold on to you. Actually, we'll probably put it on this cat here. And hopefully we get a good food. That's not a good food. <laughs> Um, I mean, straight up, let's try the rabbit, because the level up we're likely going to get, not likely, we'll, we'll maybe get a cat. We did not get a cat. Hmm, this guy just had the perfect layout here. Hey, we'll give it to you. He was planning ahead. Or maybe he just got lucky, who knows. We're gonna roll. Throw in a sushi. Seems pretty good. Don't think we need a hippo right now. Melon is great. We'll throw a melon on you. And then let's just roll, try to get a cat. Huge. And then try to find some really good um, food units. Sushi would be fantastic. Alright, we are cooking. And now our hippo takes over for summons. And we should be good to go. Alright. So now, let's try to greed this a little bit. Let's roll here. You know, actually, we don't have enough money to really greed the cat for four triggers, so let's just throw it on. Grab a pizza. Terrible hits. <laughs> Not at all what you want to see there. And of course, we didn't get another one here. So I'll tell you what. We could maybe swap into a gorilla here. That's not bad. Hmm, okay. Yep, that's gonna be an issue. <laughs> He's got the Wolverine homie back here. Alright. Rabbit can go. Well, rabbit's kind of a lot. Swan can go. Or maybe camel can go, since he's getting absolutely smashed. And then we go here. I think we probably run it like this. We're just going to try to get this gorilla cooking up now that we got some solid support. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Oh, the Rhino Tiger. He's back. Back at it. Okay, level me. 
look for some good cat foods. Fantastic cat foods. And suddenly already at 40 health. Hold on to some sushi, of course. We got skunked. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, go here. We do this and then roll for a pizza, so that seems solid. And then we'll get a Oh boy. <laughs> that was a little too close for comfort if you ask me. We'll put a melon on you. Throw in a sushi. And then pizza seems alright. And high key, I think we get rid of the, the swan here. Who's higher? Yeah. We keep the cat. Get rid of the swan for a skunk because skunk is OP. Is basically what it comes down to. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? That would not have happened if we didn't pivot to the skunk. So... Quick recap here. I think the hippo would have actually probably been better if we swapped with that rhino back then. Right, because hippo's really good against summons. It's really good like mid game. Rhino is just always good. And then you can pivot into like a rhino tiger much easier than a hippo tiger. Otherwise, this is generally how it's gonna look. Skunks are very good, by the way. Get skunks whenever you can. Okay, so now that we went through and we kind of investigated the the ideal, right, in the turtle pack, how you, how you typically are going to run it, at least in my opinion, right? We're going to try to do something a little different now. Try to just get something kind of insane, if you will. I mean, I guess we do it like this, right? Maybe throw the pig in the front. Could be good. It is good. That's great. Fantastic news. And we are solid. Hopefully we can get a level up here. Um, we got a mosquito. I honestly like a worm here. If we can get him cooking, that is. Um, I don't want to sell any of these one and a halfs yet. I will consider a spider. Ooh. Alright. Spider me. Hold on to the worm. Hold on to our other spider. Oh, he's got a spider too. For that reason and that reason alone, I guess we shouldn't put the spider in the front. But hey, he did it too. I'm not alone in that mistake. <laughs> Throwing the duck. Giraffe is fantastic. Um, obviously we can't afford him yet, but it'll, it's a start. Okay, so he's going full horse. And we do get the draw, which is huge. Horse is like one of the strongest early game setups. So if you can get an early win, or even an early draw against a horse, you're doing something right. And this is a natural hippo pivot, right here. We go here, and then let's grab a salad bowl. Giraffe is whatever, but the hippo one is, hippo trigger is fantastic. Um, I'd like to get another worm before we start buying these apples. Ooh, our hippo's just big enough to take out everybody. Is it enough? Oh, <laughs> just barely. That was very close. But we got our garlic, so that's huge. Alright. Um, give it... Give it a roll. 
We have one more roll if we get the spider. We did not. Alright. We're not going to be too set on making it happen. Let's pivot. We don't have to worry about scorpions yet, which is great. Oh, his rabbit is slightly bigger. The one attack makes all the difference. Alright, we go here. I mean, I guess we do this, right? Um, skunk is huge. Skunk and deer are actually both huge. Um, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We gotta full send the scaling. The rabbit worm isn't really cutting it for me. <laughs> um, but maybe we get rid of dolphin. Throw in the skunk, and then are we are we getting the deer? Probably should. Something like this. And then I think the worm might have to go if we don't find his partner here in a second. Fortunately, our hippo's holding us in right now. Cool, cool. We found a deer. Found a level up on the hippo. It's very summon-esque oriented. I don't know if I'm feeling a summon, though. Um, what if... And we could go like a food build squirrel worm combo, but honestly, I don't think that's the play. I think we roll once, <laughs> bunch of tier ones. Get a penguin in here. We gotta get our hippo cooking a bit quicker. If we can get a monkey, <laughs> we'd be in business. Here's the skunk just doing skunk things, but we would have definitely lost this round if it wasn't for the skunk. There is our monkey. Good old monkey friend here. Now we could cow here. That's 2-4 compared to a 1-1 one, one from the giraffe. That seems reasonable. Seems like a logical pivot here. And then let's get our monkey cooking a little bit. Yeah, I feel like in turtle packs, snipes aren't nearly as effective, because everyone's just kind of huge. So it's almost better, in my opinion, to just run, like, just go huge. Get skunks, you know, if you're going to get anything. Okay, you're gone. Throw in the scorpion. You can get a giant scorpion out here. Um, this is, this is a natural little one-two here. Big scorpion. Love it. Okay, fantastic monkey hit. I'm kind of tempted to do dragon, but we'd have to get rid of the skunk. I don't think I want to get rid of him. But for that reason, I won't. <laughs> um, we could do a mammoth pill. Potentially. Maybe a tiger. I'd like to get a, a level up on the cow, if possible. Ooh, okay. Not yet, though. Because chocolate is in the shop, and chocolate's OP. Okay, now roll me. Our scorpion's getting big, love to see that. So there is the potential for a lot of overlap between the skunk and the scorpion right now, if their biggest unit is in the front. But I'm not too stressed about that, to be honest. I think I'd much rather overlap there and be a little conservative than the alternative. Um, rabbit? Maybe. 
Maybe, though probably at this point a cat makes more sense. Huge. I like the monkey. I mean straight up, so if we get a cow, it's 4-8. I think we're better off just throwing a monkey in it this turn, getting extra scaling ahead of time. If we find a cow next turn, we're losing two health, equivalently, but honestly, could be worse. This is what I mean, like he's got so much invested in these crocodiles, and what did they do? <laughs> they took out the three units that are doing absolutely nothing, so it's like, okay. Have at it, I guess. Freeze you. We don't know who we want you on yet. Um, let's wait a second. Roll me. I think we want it on the monkey. I was hoping we'd find another monkey. Or a skunk, even. That would be pretty good. By the way, this is why having a scorpion greater than 20 attack is huge. Because <laughs> it'll insta-kill melons too. Because melons only block 20 damage. So having it a little bit higher, just dealing that extra bit with the peanut, makes a world of a difference. Another hippo, but really the star is this scorpion monkey combo. And the skunk, of course. But the skunk is always a star. Alright, run here. Throw an otter in the mix. And another duck. I actually really like fish early. <laughs> Be some talkative posers. Aren't they all? Aren't all posers talkative? Why the heck is your ant in the back there, mister? It's not where he goes. Roll me. Ooh. Start me out here. We don't want to combine yet. I'd rather get a tier 3 on level up than a tier 2. Okay. The horses may be a little tricky here. That's what I'm saying though. The horses are... They're very strong early. We'll put it that way. Uh, we can try the worm again. See if that works. Ooh, giraffe the worm. Love it. Straight up. You're just better. Throw you in the back as a little safety net. I want to try getting kind of a food build would be cool. I don't know if that'll actually pan out, um, but just something interesting like that, you know? I think we can go here. We roll. Ooh, big level. Yeah, those kind of suck. <laughs> I think we roll it. I don't think we want anything to do with those guys. So now we swap it like this. I think that actually makes more sense. See how big we can get this worm. Mmm, that extra hit. Oh, luckily it didn't matter. That extra hit from, from hitting the giraffe there could have made a big difference. So I'm glad it didn't. I think we're getting rid of the fish now. We haven't found any more. There's really no need. We do this, and honestly, just let's just straight up throw some stuff on him. Get him big. <laughs> we got another elephant back there. Look at that. Okay, so this combo should get us through early game. So now we can focus on some pivots. How are we going to get to late game, you know? Because there is a very distinct early, mid, late game setup. You know, this build is not going to last late game, I'll tell you that much. It may be looking like it's cooking right now, but just you wait, you know? I think this blowfish has a vendetta against the worm. I'm not sure why, but he's really cooking the worm with those shots. 
All right, you obviously can go. Um, we could pivot into the hippo, which actually seems really good. Let's do, just for more cost efficiency, we'll use the two pears and freeze the apple. Let's go here and here. Freeze you, hold on to the worm for next turn. Mm, math ain't math and for us here. That's all right. We'll take the L there. And then we'll go here and then we can do our two apples. That is a fantastic result here. Perfect money usage, as you always love to see. I feel like he's got his dudes backwards a little bit. Don't hit the camel. Thank you. And now the hippo takes him out. Okay, so I think we're on tier 5 now. We need to look for probably a rhino, I would think. Okay. <laughs> Target acquired. I think we now get rid of these guys. Throw Rhino in here, throw Monkey in here. And then we start cooking him up a bit. Now we could Squirrel. It would make our worm better. Though I don't know if that matters, right? Rabbit seems good. You'd get a one cost apple instead of a zero cost. Maybe that tips the needle for you. I don't know. I don't think we have room for him though. Rhino's our big dog. We need the worm, otherwise there's no apples. And I think we're all right. Not by much, but sometimes that's all you need. Okay. So yeah, let's get rid of you. Throw in the rabbit. And we can do another efficient use of our resources. Love to see it. We're getting this rhino cooking. Mmm, the skunk hit the crab, unfortunately. Not ideal. Okay, we got our level 3 worm. This could be a dragon angle here. And I think it actually is. And we want to keep the monkey probably. But I think skunk is better. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, okay. We could maybe Scorpion here. Is 2 gold for 3-3 three, three even good right now? <laughs> it's like good, but is it worth having a slot taken up on your team? I'm not sure if it is. I'm thinking maybe not. We say thank you for your time, but no thank you. Throw in a, a Scorpion. <laughs> uh, I do think we should do this though. We can maybe lead with a scorpion here. Now we got a couple dr runs here. Ooh. Hold on to you. I mean, 2-4 is not actually better than 4-4. Four, four. Or 3-3, three, three, I guess. This doesn't really count. Okay, this is huge. Hopefully we're doing all right here, stat-wise. Yeah, Rhino's a little weak right now. We do come out with a draw, which is great. But we're getting him there. Slowly but surely. I'll hold on to the monkey as like a finisher here. Do a little buy-sell and then throw the monkey in. 
I think we're too late in the game for a level 3 dragon. I think level 2 is sufficient. And again, we're seeing a little bit, bit of that overlap there. With the skunk and the scorpion. Which is not ideal, but... That's how it is sometimes. Run here. And then straight up, we might just go a scorpion here. <laughs> Run a little double scorp action. And we're good. Just barely. But that's all we need. Okay, get rid of the scorpion. Keep our buy cell cooking here. Now our scorpion's above 20. Always a good thing. Um, we might want to end on a fly here. Maybe. Oh, actually, I don't think fly is that good. Straight up, I think we just do this. See how this does for us. And we're good. We are good. <laughs> we're really close, but we're good. Go here. Level up on the skunk would be huge. Do it again. <laughs> Lead with the scorpion. Every little increment you can get is usually worth it. And it worked out somehow. <laughs> that was a little scuffed, but we got a dragon build cooking. The issue is not the build, it's the fact that we couldn't get any duplicates on these guys, but hey, dragon build is a good option. Just really you gotta focus on getting these little 1-1 one, one scorpion at the end there, and it makes all the difference a lot of times. Well anyway, thank you so much for watching, hope you learned something, hope you enjoy watching a little throwback turtle pack action. Hope it helps if you're looking for some ideas for how to improve your turtle pack playing and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one.